to another highly questionable work week. Dan Levitard, Poppy Levitard, he's my father. Who's that, Poppy? La señorita Sarita España. That's right. What do you like on the show today, Spain? I like Jordan Spieth's onions. Birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie. <laughs> All right, that was Poppy. If you run the cap, would you rather trade Kyrie or LeBron? Oh, excellent sports television question where they don't tell you what you're getting back for any of these people. Just who would you rather trade? And it doesn't matter who you're getting back. LeBron's got a no trade clause. He's dictating everything here. And because he's dictating everything and I'm in Cleveland, I'm doing everything I can to please him. So I'm going to LeBron and asking him, what do you want? That's where I'm starting with this because they don't have to do anything. And if they don't do anything, it's going to be a lot of fun for us next year watching them fall apart part because they don't get along. Well, yeah, I mean, of course, LeBron's the one in charge here. But here's the problem. If you do whatever LeBron wants, and he already said he's not going to waive his trade clause this year, and that he's going to stay through this year and most likely be gone the year after, then if you get rid of Kyrie and you don't get back something even for him, which is basically going to happen, because when you trade a superstar, what comes back is never enough. So then you're going to end up with no LeBron in two years and no Kyrie. Now you've got neither of them. So while it may seem like LeBron's in charge, this is a time when the Cavs ownership actually has to be in charge. You really like it when LeBron is in charge and in your uniform. Form. But the moment he leaves, he leaves total rubble in his wake. Can I say something to LeBron? It doesn't matter whether I say yes or no, you're going to go anyway. That's right, LeBron, it's all your fault. You were here in Miami, we're winning a bunch of titles, and all of a sudden you decided to just leave, leave Miami to go and play in Cleveland with Kyrie Irving. So you know what? Kyrie Irving doesn't want to play with you anymore, and Miami doesn't want you. So now you're on your own now. You know what I mean? That's it, buddy. That's it. The time is up right. for you. That's he, right. He, he doesn't speak for Miami. He right. doesn't speak for Pat Riley. <laughs> he speaks in his accent only for himself. Right, right. <laughs> I'll probably take him back Yeah, <laughs> when the chips are down. Yeah, when the chips are really down, you got no all-stars, you're not making the playoffs, he might take him back. Would Derrick Rose be a suitable replacement for Kyrie Irving? Less young, less healthy, <laughs> less good as a shooter. But if you trade Kyrie Irving and he's your replacement, what you get back for Kyrie Irving could make your team almost as good as it was, given that it was second in the East last year and didn't play any defense. You could be as good as you were last year. It's not good enough, but you can be that good. Well, first of all, he's going to be the next Andrew Bogut, right? They'll bring him in. He'll get $2 million for two minutes, and he'll probably hurt his knee again. I think we have to acknowledge at least that the likelihood of him being healthy, healthy enough to actually help the team is pretty slim. <laughs> healthy enough and healthy enough. Both of yes, them are both. in question both. today. And actually shows both up and doesn't just become MIA on game day and have an ownership that actually cares when you're with the Cavs <laughs> instead of Phil Jackson who's like, oh, he disappeared. I don't really care. I'm not here either. You know, I mean, this isn't working. You know, she's talking about Derek... Uh, Derrick Rose needs, you know, she has stole my jokes. Yeah. I can't talk about that. <laughs> wow, Derek it's Rose not anymore. working. Right. Oh, Two questions to end of the right. week That's already. Right. We've the got tension. Bad. Guess who's going to get traded? It's not the old guy. Did Jordan Speed convince you that top athlete can flip the switch? He convinced me that he's really great. He's one of the best golfers in the sport, and sometimes that greatness makes appearances when you need it most. Yesterday, he goes with an amazing bogey, and it was an amazing bogey, and then he goes birdie, eagle, birdie, birdie to win a major. That is what impressive people do. He's not even 24 years old yet. He can do that at various points. He just happened to do it at the end yesterday. The only thing I needed to be convinced about was whether or not Jordan Spieth would supplant Tiger Woods in terms of someone I would literally watch golf for. I'm not going to watch golf unless I find out it's Sunday and Jordan Spieth is in the running, and I want to see something amazing happen. I I didn't need him to show me that other athletes can do this. We just saw it in the Super Bowl. Tom Brady had a 65 passer rating in the first half, and he ended up breaking Super Bowl records for completions and passer rating. We see it all the time in sports. A guy has enough mental acuity to actually come back. He just proved it again. Did you see what he did after he won? What did he Look do? Look at him. What did he do? I didn't see this. Uh. <laughs> Doink. Oh, there you go. One last. Okay. I mean, you can do whatever you want when you win, right? Yeah. I prefer a chest bump and a rake throw to that if I'm his caddy, but whatever. Whatever works. Excellent golf coverage by my father. He yeah. did better with that segment than either one of us did. Whose injury is a bigger deal, Clayton Kershaw or Steven Strasburg? This is an amazing thing to say, given where it is. We started with Strasburg. He was going to be one of the best pitchers ever. Washington's gotten to a point where anything he gives them is something of a bonus because they've got Scherzer and they've got Gio Gonzalez. There is no losing Clayton Kershaw for the Dodgers, who have five years of him 
with an ERA under two. Think about what I'm saying there. His ERA for five years is under two. You need that guy if you're going to be what we think the Dodgers are. And then you overuse him in the postseason twice against the Cubs, and then you lose the pennant. But that's fine. The problem with the Strasburg injury is that we've seen this his entire career. Kershaw missed a great deal of time last year and sometime the year before with back injuries. Back injuries tend to compound, so that is very problematic. But Strasburg's had a host of injuries. His entire kinetic chain is blown. So you're right. When they get something from him, it's better than nothing. But this Nats team and the Dodgers team both win the equivalent of the President's Trophy every year. The NHL, the best record of the regular season, and then go on and blow it in the postseason. So this is just setting them up for the inevitable disaster that's going to happen in both cities. Spoken like a true Cubs fan who doesn't remember all of her 100 years of disaster. Oh, I remember. Did Lamar Ball hurt his image by pulling his team off the floor of a AAU game? Hurt his image? His image is of an obnoxious gas bag. That's what his image is. Colorful, cartoonish, and they're leading in this game. His team here is in the gray. You can check them out. They're winning 69-60. He doesn't think this is a foul. He's probably right about that. Well, then you might as well just quit the whole game. And these four kids have been working all summer to make the AAU playoffs. And you might as well just leave because you have too tiny of an eagle and your fragile masculinity that's only buoyed by the idiocy that comes out of the mouth and your way that you talk about your wife like you're running a stud farm. But, yeah, of course, this really hurts his image. This is like the least offensive thing he's ever done. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to tell you what's more offensive. Can we show that again, please? Was he coaching in flip-flops and shower slippers? Did he storm off the court angrily uh, in me. shower slippers? Excuse me, $500 big baller break. Brand shower slippers. I can almost guarantee you that. <laughs> okay. Keith, this is good for the brand right here. You're a big baller if you can walk off the court because the referees insulted you in the AAU game in a way that confuses even your own players. Yeah, they're like, we want to keep playing. We were going to win. <laughs> we Get like out of basketball. Here. We don't even like you. <laughs> Well, at least he showed some restraint. He didn't go after the referee. There he tried go. to beat the hell out of the referee, you know? He's showing some class there. We're really <laughs> scraping at the bottom of the barrel here. I mean, well, well, the good news is he didn't actually assault anyone. Uh, yes. Over a kid's <laughs> basketball game. Way to go, Lamar. Brutal. Get out of here. <laughs> Coming up next on Highly Questionable. I'm guessing we're going to call him a loser. <laughs> oh, no. They're too young yes, for this. they're too young they're for too win or loser. Wait, oh, what's happening? What is yes. this, the Flintstones? Yes, he's using his feet. <laughs> he's <not the> pool. <laughs> yes. I, hey, he's a winner, dude. Yes, hey, yes. He's, he's what you call a disruptor in Silicon Valley. He's like, I don't need this bike. I got legs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this person? Oh, Oh, get the ball, oh get the no, ball, get he broke it. Oh, I thought we were going to play. This isn't cooler. This is worse. <laughs> My Sons TV show is brought to you by Modelo Especial, brew with a fighting spirit since 1925. Play the game that is rooting for the White Walkers. Do you question? You give us topics and events and then we question them. Do you question if this is a lot cooler now? All right, we told you about the drive-by dunk challenge last week. We were thoroughly not impressed by people jumping out of their cars and just dunking on the backboards of random neighbors. Does it get any cooler when these people are doing it? Hopefully they're dunking on the rim and not the backboard. Good correction, man. <laughs> Who is this? Who is this person? Oh, Oh, get the ball, oh get the no, ball, he broke it. it. Oh, I thought we were going to play. This isn't cooler. This is worse. <laughs> is this whole show about disappointing kids? I thought we were going to show Anthony Davis and somebody else. Are they just going to? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is much better this, this is way. Cooler. Yeah. This is cooler. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, no. See, this is just no, a minute. Is, some hardworking family <laughs> spend their money to put a hoop in the backyard, and now they can't use it. This is not cooler. It is, however, more criminal. We now have a, dis oh, oh, a destruction oh, oh, of property oh, situation. Oh, yeah, this is not cooler. This is just a, a felony, probably. <laughs> this is really fun until someone gets shot breaking into someone's backyard right. to dunk on their hoop. Do it again, do it again. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, we got a dog. Oh, no. Then it got way cool at the end. Everything's better with dogs. I know one guy who didn't make it cooler. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this Coach Cal? It sure is. That's a nice car he's Sweet driving. Sweet whip, yeah. yeah that's good. Oh, is he going to try and do it now? Watch his that. Dark in this, this neighborhood. This is kind of scary. Is this the beginning of a horror movie? Well, based on his dribbling, it is. Yeah. Wow, he is not moving wow. very quickly. 
What height is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a four foot rim. That's the least impressive feat of athleticism. Wait, did he just I've leave the seen. basketball behind? He just left the basketball how, behind. How long do you think they scouted that neighborhood until they found a four foot rim and they were like, this one, this is the only this one that's going to work? This is the only one work. Cal can dunk on. <laughs> do you question if Danny Angie is still has it? <laughs> His name is Danny Ainge. I don't know why my father insists on calling him Danny Angie. Let's check in with Danny Ainge playing basketball in the driveway against his son. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's where you got to leave the court never to return, Danny, once he does oh, that. I mean, man. it wasn't even a layup. I thought, a I thought we were supposed to respect old man strength, but as it turns out, there isn't any. Let me see that. Let me see that chicken wing Danny Ainge tried to throw at the end. You see that elbow he tried to hit his son in the face with at the first, end of that? First he bodies him. Right. <laughs> oh, eat it. I yeah. love it. Uh, the youth of America taking over. Danny's also going to say, by the way, that that happened only because he was wearing dress pants and dress shoes. By the way, that brother played about as good defense as James Harden. Did you see him? He didn't even yeah, move. Didn't he just stuck anything. an arm in. Ring, ring, oh. ring. Yes. Hello? Uh, yes. Yeah? Fred, Fred Hoiber. Oh, yes, Fred, what's going on? He's always calling. It's a carry, I bet. Yeah? You really think so? <laughs> His son, Danny uh, Angie's yeah. son? <laughs> Push up with this uh, arm. Oh, yeah, he pushed off. Yeah. yeah. He carried too. Yeah. All right, I let them know. All right. All right. I send the message. All right, great. He said his mm -hmm. son push up with his arm. Yeah, I've been on a pussy foul. Yeah, Can heard. you believe that? Oh, yeah. Fred, get back to making that roster. <laughs> Fred, stop other than calling garbage. us. Yeah, you got better things to do, Fred. Do you question whether this fan had it coming? This is the only time we check in with the Tour de France when somebody <laughs> is running around naked or this happens. Three times over. Oh, he's unbelievable. He's been at Chris Broom's side, yeah, whatever he is. Thank you for the arrow. Yeah, yeah, the yeah get out of here. Yeah, that's what he <laughs> Yeah. But yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that guy's very enthusiastic, very enthusiastic, very enthusiastic until right here. It's a smooth move by the cycle, <laughs> cycle man, motorcyclist. He's, he's just stiff-armed him. And that concludes our Tour de France Stage 8 team coverage. I spoke as eloquently about the motorcyclist as I would I mean, about the Tour de France. Really I'm like, cycle over. man, what, is he a police officer? I, I don't know. He's not a motorcycle. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> you know the guy who won that race? He does that stuff on his own. Look at him. Oh, okay. Well, there's this guy here. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. How about that? Oh. A little elbow for your yellow head there, That's Big Bird. What do you think of that? That was amazing. The enthusiasm yes. of that guy. Just, and he just turned around. He's like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Out. Me and my yellow hair, my flag, all our pride Too much? gone. We're Too gonna, much? We're gonna go sorry. We're Too gonna much. Go do you question if this kid is a winner? Ah, uh, the joys of sports television, where we take a kid, put him on television. He didn't ask for this. And we decide whether he's a winner or a loser. Let's check in with this kid. Winner or loser? I'm guessing we're going to call him a loser. <laughs> oh, no, they're too young yes, for this. Yes, they're too young they're for too winner young. loser. Wait, oh, what's happening? What is yes. this, the Flintstones? Yes, he's Wait. using his feet. <laughs> he's <not> the... <laughs> yes. Hey, I mean, he's a winner, dude. Yes, hey, yes. He's, he's what you call a disruptor in Silicon Valley. He's like, I don't need this bike. I got legs. Uh oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 he didn't win. Oh, no. no, that's oh, not a win. No, no you lose. Coming up next on my Soul TV show. Oh, what is that? He's fast. He needs those knees. What is that? <laughs> what just happened there? Look at how happy Poppy is. Oh, oh what a scene. Yes, it's look like at some of my finest high school moments just on better video.